you can create an API without any coding using uh, sheetdb.io and you can use Google Sheets as the database. So very nice tool. So we'll look how we can use it uh, to create an API. Uh, so this is the website. <clears throat> if you go to sheetdb.io, so you can go there and can log in, uh, log in using your Google account. And I will log in. Right, so you can create different APIs. So this I've created earlier. I'll create a new API. Uh, first, you paste the spreadsheet URL from your address bar. So I will just create one uh, Google Sheet. So basically, Google Sheet will act as our database. Whatever data we put in Google Sheet, that will be available to us via an API. Uh, so very nice feature. So we can say something test DB test data and create some dummy data here. I'd say maybe a class data name uh, data of the uh, some students name of the students in class right and uh, favorite uh, subject anything you can add right uh, so I can add some names right and then some scores uh, some random data I'm adding of course you can add as uh, much data as you want right and so this is our data right now we can use it as a database so I'll just getting the URL of this uh, database right of this sheet I'll put this here okay so I've already signed it in sheet DB uh, if you have not signed in <clears throat> it will ask you to uh, give the access to this app the Google access Google sheet access to the app so yeah uh, the API is already created right uh, so this is our api so how we can test it one you can test it in the browser also right so you get the data as an api we can test it in the postman tool also right you get the data this is the data you entered in the sheet uh, right and uh, got it so this is the data you entered in the sheet and this is the data you get it via the API. So very nice tool without any coding in like literally seconds we were able to create an API. Right and there are other uh, sort of uh, properties also. So if you go to their docs uh, you will find uh, so this this is very simple uh, we did for just the uh, just for the get right so if you you can test different methods so you can get all the keys keys are the names of the columns so you can test all the keys right so these are your keys ids name age and uh, and comment uh, no sorry yeah so this is my key so I have just used this right you get this this these are the keys right and uh, so this is a get and then post also you can create a row uh, you have to send something like this like a in a data uh, key you have to add so I'll create one post request also right in the body uh, you have to add this as data and all the keys you will have need to have right so name right and uh, score so all the keys you have to pass I'm just creating a row in the google sheet right so this is our data and uh, let me see if well, I can create this. Right, the URL will be the simple URL and the post. Okay. Created. Great. Now let's see. Okay, this we created. Right. So get and post all the methods and similar this delete and uh, this po post in different ways also. And you can update, uh, put, and patch also. So yeah, uh, this is a small video. 
are showing this tool which you can use to very quickly create APIs from your Google Sheets as a database. So maybe very simple uh, scenario can be you can give somebody to enter data into this database and then automatically create that API uh, using SheetDB and uh, then uh, use it in your project. Right? And if you don't know any coding and want to create this uh, APIs also, it's very helpful. So yeah, this is it. A uh, small demo about SheetDB and uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, i'll put the link of this in the description and for more such videos please uh, keep like share and subscribe